Hello everyone, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss how to spy on over the private method. So in the previous video, where we have discussed how to call a like private method and private variable in Angular unit test case. In this video, we will discuss how to do spy on over the private method. So let's go to the Visual Studio. And in this, like we will discuss with the previous example where we created a two private method. One is the calculate and another is the show name. Here this show name uh, like print the name and this calculate take the numbers and like add those numbers. So now let's go to the uh, Angular unit test case side and here this is the way we are calling those private method and the private variable. Now in this video what we will do we will spy on over these two methods. So for doing that one first what we have to do. So I am going to spy on over this. So let me uh, create a one method and that is spy name and what we have to do is spy on and using the any keyword we can uh, spy a private method. So uh, you have seen here like I uh, written the spy on and then any. So using this any we can spy the private method. Now what we have to do we have to write the component and then we have to give this method name. So that we have to do here. Now next what we have to do we have to call it here. So if I will take this one and like to have been called. So now after this one like what we have done here. So we have created a spy on and then any this is the keyword which like uh, help us to spy on over the private method. So with that object we are seeing like this method have been called or not. And if we will go result we can see like three test cases passing correctly. So let me save it again. And if we will go on the browser we can see like here it is like our first test case that is called private method is calling successfully. So this is the call private method and it is working as expected. So we can see like our test case is passing. Now next what I will do uh, I will spy on over this calculate private method. So for doing that one in the similar to that first we have to uh, like create a one variable. So what I am going to do spy method. So this variable name I am taking this one. Now next what we have to write we have to write the spy on and then any and after that what we have to do we have to call that method so component comma this calculate method. So we have to call it here. Now next what we have to do we have to copy it here like because we are expecting it. So and then what we have to do to have been called. So with this we will identify like this particular method have been called or not called. Now let us go to the browser and see. So we can see our second test case is also passing as expected. So this is the way of doing a spy on over the private method and that we can do using the any keyword. So this is the line like basically do the spy on over the private method. So that's it for this video. If you have any question and doubt please comment. Thank you.